What's up, Water Squad? Back with another video. I see how the title was going down. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe button for me, please. Let's get in the video, y'all. Walls had a secret fling with the daughter of a top Chinese communist official. We've covered this. During his stint in China. Get a load of this. So Tim Walls uh, apparently wanged Jenna Wang, who's 59, who um, apparently uh, was seduced uh, by him when he was a teacher in China. Uh, here's what Jenna Wang has to say about Tim Walls. You can see the photos of her here. Now she's talking to the press. Tim was passionate and very romantic. I can still remember dancing with him to our favorite song. It's amazing that she survived Dances with Tim Walls. Because Dances with Tim Walls, like... That's Dance with Tim Walls. Okay, so we're lucky Pretty well. that Jenna Wang uh, survived the, the wanging by Tim Walls. Uh, but here we go. Uh, first, the fact that we couldn't touch or kiss in public made it all the more exciting and intense when we were finally alone. I don't really want to think about that, to be, to be quite honest with you. Think, uh, think, yeah, think about those inflatable arm wavy tube men uh, outside of your local uh, used car dealership. Uh, think about them um, making love. No, no, I will not. We are deeply in love, and I wanted to marry him and start a family. When it didn't happen, I felt unhappy and sad. Tim's behavior was very selfish. She goes on to say that she's suicidal because of Tim walls Dang. okay um well tim walls we we've said for a long time that tim walls is in bed with the communist party of china this is not normal behavior to go to china 30 times to and honeymoon he's lying china, about it to get married on an anniversary of human carnage and slaughter in china um but now we find out that tim walls is literally what was, was literally sleeping with the enemy okay got it Maybe this is why Tim Walls was uh, so awkward on stage during the uh, vice presidential debate here. Do we have this as a, can you just play the last couple seconds of, of, of yeah, can you play the last couple of seconds of this? You could tell, like, when I watched this clip happen live, I said, wow, this is really strange. His behavior is very odd. And it reminds you of, like, somebody who has something to hide, right? It reminds you of somebody who has something that they're trying, that they're trying to hide. Is it play beside Klein or throw it? Okay. So here we go. Here's the, the Kim, Tim Walls is caught in a lie about China. He's called on it. He's lying about where he was during Tiananmen Square massacre. And then he responds like this. Well, whether it was being a good soldier or was being a good member of Congress, those are the things that I think are the values that people care about. Governor, just to follow up on that, th the question was, can you explain the no, discrepancy? Just, all I said on this was, is I got there that summer and misspoke on this. So I, I will just, that's what I've said. He always says that he's misspoke with something like it, it, especially like when, so when he get called out. Look at his face when he get called out on a lot. He always say, oh, my wife says that I always misspeak sometimes or I say this and I say that. Bro, come on, bro. So I was in Hong Kong and China during the democracy protest went in. And from that, I learned a lot of what needed to be in, in governance. That's wild. You know, like, you're a human being, right? You know this when you're caught in a lie. Where were you last night? Your wife says. Uh, uh, try responding like that to where were you last night to your wife. Try it. Like, it's clear when someone's lying. It's clear when someone's ashamed of what they were doing. And it's clear when somebody is sleeping with the enemy. We call her communist Kamala, but here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um... Maybe this is why Kamala Harris picked Tim Walls, right? Exactly. Like, maybe this is why. Kamala knew that she needed every conceivable advantage, and maybe it's Kamala who's a foreign asset, right? As Tim Walls is getting foreign ass this set. I don't know. I don't know. Here's the reporting. Intensifying their efforts. Yeah, so House Republicans are intensifying their efforts to investigate the Democrat vice presidential nominee and Minnesota Governor Tim Walz's alleged ties to China. House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer releasing a portion of DHS internal communications it received from a whistleblower discussing China's alleged activities with Walls. The message was sent by a DHS employee to colleagues on Microsoft Teams saying, quote, Walls got the VP. You have no idea how this feeds into what the PRC or the people's 
Republic of China has been doing here with him and local government. It's seriously a line of the intel targets someone who is perceived they can get to D.C. Now, Comer, in a letter to DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, says, quote, the committee's releasing the above message as an example of the communications within DHS's possession in which DHS officials express concern about the CCP targeting politicians and their influence operations at the state and local levels. Comer says specifically their concerns about China's influence operations as they relate to Governor Walz. Now, last month, Comer subpoenaed Mayorkas for records relating to those alleged connections after the whistleblower not notified him of those messages. Comer is now accusing the Department of Homeland Security of stonewalling the subpoena. He says, quote, DHS did not produce responsive documents before the subpoena's due date and sub subsequently neglected to produce a single responsive document. The House Oversight and Accountability Committee says Walls has traveled to China an estimated 30 times. And in the 1990s, Walls organized a trip to China for his high school students, a trip which was reportedly paid for by the Chinese government. That's wild. Cover up. Dang, that's wild. Sometimes it's, it just so, sometimes it's just so obvious, the choice. You just have to, like, say thank – you just have to thank God. And, and now is that time. We have five days before election day election day next tuesday we can just be thankful that the choice is this clear and that these scumbags are being undone by their own words and actions that it's all falling apart it's a incredible moment to be alive it's energy and the remaking of the political landscape that you only see once in a lifetime wow. savor it soak it up do everything you possibly can. We certainly will. Hey, make sure I hit the like button, subscribe button for me, please. Y'all see it though. Y'all see it. Um, honestly, it, I'm tired of the lies. It's always the lies, you know, when it comes to us. Just like Benny said, um, maybe she did pick them, you know, for that reason. And I feel like the first time. Of knowing Tim Walls, I didn't know who Tim Walls was at all, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people didn't. But it's just it just goes to show you. And honestly, I'm not even gonna lie, it probably wasn't her pick. It probably wasn't her choice. Um, I feel like it's something definitely deeper. But you know, who knows? Let me know y'all comments and thoughts down below. Definitely appreciate y'all. Much love, everybody. Stay tuned for the next video. It'll be one video drop tomorrow for Halloween. But it'll be late. You know, once everybody you know gets done what they getting done. You know, depending on you know who's Doing what following? I know some people celebrate, some people don't. Um, so definitely hit that like button, subscribe button for me, please. Catch you on the next one.